All right, Shalom. Start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, okay? And um, that consists of you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Native Americans. And the brothers and sisters that look like the other nations because we've been scattered that the scriptures refer to as the confusion of face okay and i want to say peace and blessings to the elect because that's what this is about edifying the elect man okay um just real quick this is a uh, first corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13 it says there had no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Now I want to focus on the line that says, will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Okay, the Most High is not going to suffer. He ain't going to put more on you than what you can uh, handle, man. Okay, no matter what you're going through, if the Heavenly Father is dealing with you, man, the burden that, you know, or, or, or the whatever it is that he put on you, you know, whatever you got to suffer through, okay, you got to realize, okay, Number one, this scripture is true, okay? And you got to have full faith in that, man, that the Most High won't give you nothing that's too strong for you to bear, man, too heavy for you to bear, man, okay? And you got to realize in your mind, too, okay, I'm catching all this. The Most High put me through the rank, ringer for righteousness sake, mind you, okay? Not for, 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 uh, for, for, uh, BSing, man, okay? But for uh, righteousness sake, okay, you got to realize that, okay, he's putting me through this shit. That mean I'm strong enough to actually bear this, okay? So don't look at it as a, a thing. Don't let it break you, okay? You got to have, you got to have a spirit of Job, man. You got to have a mentality that, that Job had, man. You we, we haven't seen none of that, but it's coming, okay? And if, if you can't handle the little things right now, this, this light affliction, man, how you going to make it at the end, man? At the at the very end, when when when, when, your, when, the, the, when that chip come, when the hour of temptation come, okay? How you going to be able to sustain if you can't make it through the little trials that you're going through now, man? You, you're not going to make it, man. You you are going to break, man. you supposed you supposed to, you know, be able to withstand whatever the most I throw at you. If you break, then he wants you broke. And he ain't dealing with you, man. Okay? It's to make you stronger. To make you, uh, to uh, make you harder, man. You have to endure in this thing, man. He's purifying you. He's getting all the impurities out of that gold, man. Okay. He's trying you through adversities. Okay. That's the trials we got to go through, man. And then look at the men of old. They all went through it, man. Okay. The prophets all they went through it, man. Okay? We haven't been run off the block with, with, with stones, with riotous peoples, you know, coming at us with, with weapons, okay? Getting uh stoned, man, getting getting uh beat, okay? You know, we have our little here and there, little, you know, 
brothers done went to jail, you know. Brothers done had to defend themselves, you know. But, hey man, the real trial is coming, okay? But the Most High ain't gonna put more on you than what you are able to hold up, man. Okay? And like I said, you gotta have a mentality. You gotta get that mind. You gotta gird up your loins like a man, man. Okay? The mentality like what Job had, man. All the all the hell Job caught, lost everything, his children, his possessions. Okay? And that and then at the end, his wife told him to curse the most high and die. Just, you know. Forget it. You can't have the mentality of Job's wife. You got to have the mentality he had like, shit, you know what? I'm going to ride this thing out to the end, man. He that uh, strive for the truth unto death, man. That's the scriptures say. And then, you know, that's in the Apocrypha. Strive for the truth unto death, man. Okay? That's what you got to do. That's what you, That going to count the cost. That's the thing that you signed up for, man. That's part of that contract. To present your body as a living sacrifice, man. Holy, acceptable. Which is your reasonable service, man. Okay? It's reasonable, man. Look what the Lord had to go through, man. The worst persecution crucified man humiliated but he went through that for us man so you gotta do the same for him man for the heavenly father Yahweh it's a it's, it's it's in the contract and it wasn't fine print neither it wasn't snuck in there this is this is known before you put your hands to the plow, man, you count the cost. So if little things, man, is is knocking you off your off your uh pivot, then you're not gonna make it, man. Okay? You just you simply are not gonna make it, man. And you gotta be honest with yourself, man. When the scriptures say examine thyself. To see whether ye be in the faith. Ye, scripture tell you, ye, you know your own self, man. You know your own self, man. Whether or not you gonna make it or not. And you got a lot of cats out there that's just faking the funk trying to save face, man. Because they don't want to look bad in front of men. This ain't what this is about, man. You better be humble and sincere. And honest with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh because he can see straight through your 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 uh your your uh lie, man. Your your force. Okay? Your acting. Okay? If you acting, shh man, you got some you you got first of all you got some nerve, man. You think you playing the heavenly father? Shit, good luck with that. Or bad look <laughs> okay but um yeah man I just it was on my spirit cause we was on the block today and that scripture came out and I just it just started exploding in my mind man you know I, you know many times you read scriptures man every time it, you get something different man through the spirit so when that spirit it wouldn't so lock you when that um Scripture was read today. I was like, damn, man, you got to really, really, really think about that, man. If you got faith and you believe this to be true, you got to know this, that the Most High ain't going to give me more than I can bear. He's not. It's written. The, the, the Most High is a man that he should not lie, man. He ain't lying. He, he will not give you more than what you can bear, man. And you gotta realize, okay, the Most High is putting all this on me. He know 
that I can do, I can, I can make it through this. If he dealing with you, if you being diligent, if you being spiritual, man, okay. If if you if you getting into this into this word, man, okay. If all right, and the scripture also say in the uh, book of Hebrews. For what son is, is it that the Most High didn't chasten, man? Okay, and if, if, if like we brought out today through the Spirit, if, if you just floating through and everything is hunky dory, man, and, and you ain't got no kind of resistance, ain't no resistance, man. Shit, boy, you better you better get worried. You better start praying, fast. Okay. Because uh, this whole world is against us, man. So, <laughs> if, if you know, we ain't out there kicking mess, but man, come on, man. You just floating through this thing, man, shit. You better get worried, man. Okay? But, um, yeah, that was it, man. I just, I just wanted to, you know, touch on that because that, I've been just meditating on that scripture since we left the block, man. You know, that 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 one little man, all the scriptures, you know, this one just weighed heavy on me, man. You know, so I just they wanted to, you know, bring that out through the spirit, you know, and uh, you know, uh, you know, of course, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, Lord willing, I just say that uh, there's there was edification in this, man. Cause that's what it's about, building, man, building. And that's a that's one thing you need to know. Being in this thing, okay, is that the Most High ain't gonna give you more than what you can take, man. So just deal with it, man. Don't don't and, and don't bitch up, okay. Don't bitch up, man up, man. Man of the Lord up, man. Okay? Be a good soldier. A soldier ain't a, a good soldier ain't gonna get in the trenches and freeze, man. That's what'll get you and your man's killed, man. Okay. So with that man, again, I'm gonna say um all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly father Yahweh, by Shum, Yahweh Shah, by Shum, Rakakradash. Which is the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay. I'm gonna say double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone or GMS, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, contrary to popular belief in the nation of Israel. Okay. To those that know they Israel, you know, but they know where to go to get the breakdowns. I tell you that. Okay. <laughs> But uh, again, the nation of Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, so-called. And the brothers and sisters that look like the other nations. Because we've been scattered throughout all the other nations, man. Because Jake get down. When I say Jake, I'm talking about the, the sons of Israel, okay? The men of Israel, okay? And um, I want to say uh, peace and blessings to the elect, man. Okay, and uh, until the next time, I'm going to say Shalom.